We're now just 86 days away from the Winter Olympics opening ceremonies happening in Sochi, Russia, and we're getting help to build up the excitement for that. We're joined by special guest Catherine, Catherine sorry, Reuter. She's a 2010 <laughs> Olympian. She competed in short track speed skating. So uh, how are you getting excited for uh, 2014 Sochi? Well, actually, I just got back from New York City at the USOC's 100-day countdown event. Uh, myself and, gosh, 30 or 50 other athletes, both retired and still skating, went to New York City. We were on the Today Show, and actually all of Times Square was rented out for a day with mm. demos from every sport, people like Olympic hopefuls and Olympic legends alike signing autographs for, for kids all over. Uh, Times Square, and so it was a really great, a really great way to celebrate that the next Olympics are coming. That's good atmosphere. So you won silver and bronze. Um, is it different now that you're not competing to kind of be on the other side, but yet still involved because you're coaching? Yeah, very much. It's it's very different. What I found being at that event was that it is hard to kind of take a step back and like I'm 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 not an Olympic hopeful for this year. I'm I'm retired. I'm not going, and that's kind of. That's kind of hard to really sit with, but at the same time, like I can still spread the ideals of the Olympics. You know, I can still, I can still teach kids the value of sport and good sportsmanship, and I don't have to go to the Olympics to do that. And that's what I'm lucky enough to do with my team at the Pettit Center every day. Is not only am I trying to prepare them for the day that they might go to the Olympics, but I'm trying to prepare them um, to be like good sports and good teammates so that someday it's not just going to be about the medal it's going to be about the experience that they had along the way you're not competing anymore because of an injury and we won't go into what happened there but is it hard to put that competitive attitude mm -hmm. on the shelf after having done it for so long <laughs> she's smiling <laughs> um, <laughs> i there's definitely an aspect of like i miss being good at what i do but no because actually while i put my competitiveness up on the shelf i I can I can snag a cookie out of the cookie jar that's up on the shelf too. And <laughs> you don't have to train so hard. <laughs> exactly. You can live I, a life. <laughs> exactly. I can go. I can. I have friends, you know, and that honestly never happened. And I see my family now, and and that never really happened. And it's really nice to have have more to say that I am more than just my sport and what I've accomplished, but that I genuinely have a life outside of my sport. And I encourage my skaters that I coach to not let themselves be defined by this one thing, but to be well-rounded, well-rounded athletes and well-rounded people. And, and she has a couple of medals right. to boot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's, that's something you're coaching at the Pettit. We want to mention that as well. Catherine Reuter, thank you so much thank for coming you. in this afternoon.